Good morning everyone and welcome. In this video today I'm not talking about crystals or a mineral but I'm talking about amber. Amber belongs to the organic gems group so it's made by a biological process. It's just a tree resin settled for at least a million years and has been used ornamentally up to 13,000 years. Historically has been used also in other places like medicine, perfume and cosmetics. But let's see something more about amber. Amber, warm to the touch, is a prehistoric fossil resin of pine trees that hardened with time. Its softness allows to be cut and designed for jewelry. It doesn't have a crystalline structure. Its color is near to honey yellow and orange being very common, and red amber being the most valuable. Amber's popularity is due to its special inclusions. While other gems lose value with impurities, amber gets higher price for the little piece of history that carries inside. Do you remember the movie Jurassic Park? That film where some scientists cloned lab dinosaurs getting the DNA from prehistoric insects preserved in amber? Well, I don't know if this could be really possible, but it's not a total fiction. You can really find prehistoric animals in amber. Every single gem is a kind of a time capsule, which can show us a little bit of history. Remember, amber was a pine's resin so a sticky material that could accidentally trap leaves, flowers, and also little insects or prehistoric animals. Because every piece is unique, amber that contains the special inclusions gets higher price than clear gems. The world's leading source of amber is the Baltic Sea region. Its low specific gravity permits it to float in salt water, which allows an easy collection along beaches nearby. Of course, this is not the only one way to find amber. There are some other places where the gem is mined directly from the ground in open pit mines. The other main sources of amber in the world are Dominican Republic, right now the most important, Mexico and also Italy in Sicily Island, where the gem is called cymatite. In everyday jewelry, amber requires some basic maintenance. It's sensitive to heat, burned due to low temperature giving up a pleasant scent. Actually, it's often used as a fragrance for incense. Treatments to enhance its beauty are very frequent. The most common are oil filling that clarifies clarity gems and heating to lighten dark amber. We can find some different kind of imitators, either natural and man-made. The most common natural is the copal, which is just a young amber, it has less than a million years. As man-made imitator, plastic is widely used. It is similar to amber in so many aspects, rather than inclusions and specific gravity, which is a bit heavier than amber, so it sinks in salt water. An object that is commonly found in jewelry is the ambroid. Manufacturers gather some small pieces of natural amber and press all together under gentle heat to form a single large gem, which results positive to all identification tests but usually it's very easy to identify the edges of each piece under magnification. Well, that's it for this video today. Hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you still have some question about amber or about any other gem, please leave a comment in the comment section below and for sure I'll be happy to answer. If you want to know something more about amber, you can still have a look on my blog. You can see the link in the info box just down this video. And if you like this video and you want to see some other videos about gem and jewelry, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be updated to all my new videos. So, bye!
See you next time.